According to the World Food Program, 805 million people don't have enough food to lead healthy, active lives. That's one in nine people on Earth. Hi, I'm Marilyn Weisner, and I'm the Executive Director of the Aurora Area Interfaith Food Pantry. In 1981, there was a, an economic downturn, another economic downturn, and a number of churches were finding people showing up on their doorstep looking for help to get food. Uh, so the churches started talking with some community leaders and asked them to start a food pantry and uh, consequently they started the Aurora Area Interfaith Food Pantry and that's where the interfaith comes from. It is, uh, it was started by a number of churches but it's, it's not specific to any one faith or religion and it serves anyone who comes to ask for food. The World Food Program calculates that $3.2 billion is needed per year to reach 66 million hungry school-aged children. Currently, we have about 1,000 families that come every week for food. We have a program year-round. We serve food every week, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday from 10 to 2. And currently, there are about 1,000 families coming. When the pantry first opened up in 1981, they served about 200 families a month. So it's grown tremendously. There's no way to estimate, but thousands of families have come here for food. In 2008, we saw a dramatic increase in numbers, and of course that coincided with the downturn in the economy. Uh, many people lost their jobs uh, and came for assistance uh, with their food needs so that they didn't have to go hungry, and also so that they could, money that they didn't spend on food, for food that they got from the pantry, they were able then to apply to mortgage or rent utilities to keep their keep their houses going, to keep a roof over their heads. Um, but it's very hard to say. Uh, it, it really depends on individual circumstances. Certainly people who are unemployed need help, uh, but people who are employed, 35% of those who come here are employed, but they may be in low income jobs. They may work part time, even though they prefer to work full time. And so their incomes don't stretch to meet their need. Um, so it's hard to say how many people are in need. We just know right now that we're serving about a thousand families a week. So there are quite a few, and there are many, many more than that that are in need. And that's why we'd like to get the word out to anyone that needs food uh, so that they can come here and make sure that they have enough to eat. The partnership with the river has been wonderful. Uh, they help us during the annual holiday food drive, advertising the food drive. Uh, that's a special project that was begun by Dan Dolan of Dolan and Murphy Commercial Real Estate. And there are several grocery stores that are involved. Uh, Prisco's Fine Foods, Prisco's Family Market, Surmac Fresh, uh, Fresh Market, and this year Mariano's out on New York Street is involved and the grocery stores pack bags of food and they consult with us about what kind of food we need here. They put those items in the bag and the shoppers come in and they can buy those pre-packed bags for five, 10 or $15 and then all of the food in those bags gets donated back to the pantry. Uh, since the annual food drive started, um, this is its seven year, in the last six years, uh, we have collected, shoppers have purchased more than 20,000 bags of groceries to help the pantry. So the river has been wonderfully helpful for that. They do live remotes at the stores, they advertise, they talk about the food drive and the need, and they really have raised awareness in the community about how important it is that everybody have enough food to eat and that we all kind of contribute to that effort and make sure that everyone in our community is well fed. The Matching Palette Program uh, is a program that helps us purchase food. The food drive is wonderful, it's great for people to buy food and donate, but there are other ways also for us to get food, and that is to purchase food from the Northern Illinois Food Bank through our membership there. The food bank um, is able to sell us food at a drastically reduced price. So when somebody donates to the Matching Palette Program, what they're doing is donating a dollar amount. For example, a pallet of cereal would cost us about $192. If a person wants to donate $192, we could buy a whole pallet of cereal with that. There are also benefactors to the Matching Palette Program that are donating matching donations. So if we get $192 through the Matching Palette Program, one of our benefactors will match that at $192. And this year, we have $50,000 in matching funds from donors such as Dunham Fund, Conan Insurance, and a number of other donors that are participating in this program to help raise money so that we can use it to purchase food. I can't see the numbers, so somebody's going to have to watch up there. <laughs> okay, so happy Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Brisa Barraza. I'm distribution manager of the Aurora Area Interfaith Food Pantry. We are in need of like about 20 to 35, 20 to 30 volunteers each distribution day. So 
Um, most of them are community service. Um, which are court order also regular volunteers so we, we ask them you know at least to try to commit at least once a week we also uh, send mass emails in regards like we are needing lots of volunteers regular volunteers to come in and, and help us with distribution we are anticipating to uh, serve about 1900 turkeys I'm Kristen Ensminger and I'm the director of operations at the Aurora Food Pantry I've been at the pantry for um, almost six years now and as I said, uh, the need here and the, um, our operations are, have grown tremendously since I started six years ago. Um, when I started, you know, you would come into the pantry and get a prepacked bag of food and, and mm -hmm. then walk back out. Um, now we've, we're a total choice pantry, so our clients can come in, they get to choose every food item that they get, um, which I think, it, you know, gives them so much more dignity and, and respect um, when they come here. And, you know, I'm just, I'm really proud of our organization and how we're growing to meet the needs of the community. And um, also the community support is just amazing. Aurora has just really rallied around us and provided us so much support from helping to get this building to helping to keep our shelves stocked. We need everything as far as our food distribution program goes. We take non-perishable food items. Um, also now we have a cooler and a freezer, so we have the capability of accepting dairy products, um, frozen meat, we give out bread, we give out fresh produce, um, but we're also always in need of the staples, uh, cereal, spaghetti, pasta sauce, uh, tuna, just anything that you can think of. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, business is booming. Um, even when we moved into this building last November, we were serving about 800 families a week and currently we're well over a thousand each and every week. So we just continue to see the numbers going up. 75% of the world's poorest people live in rural areas and depend on agriculture and related activities to survive. We accept donations at the pantry Monday through Friday between the hours of 8 a.m. and 3 p.m. Um, for people and organizations that conduct food drives, we also have a pickup service available. So donors can contact me directly and I will get it set up on the schedule and then our driver can come and actually pick up the food from you. Um, you know, when a client comes up to me and says thank you or, you know, says God bless you for your help and, and what you do, it, it just makes everything so worthwhile. If anyone is interested in donating to the Matching Palette Program, the Thanksgiving Meal Fund, or just to make a general donation any time of the year, uh, you could do so at the pantry's website, www.auroraFoodPantry.org, and hit the Donate Now button. You could also send a check to Post Office Box 2602. Aurora, Illinois 60507. If anyone's interested in donating food, you can bring any food donations to our office here, 1110 Jericho Road, and we're here 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. This really is a community project. It is this community that has made this facility possible. We are here in this wonderful 18,000 square foot facility with a completely client choice market and pantry, and we have thousands of pounds of food that come in every week that we are able to give out to the thousand families who come. And it is because of the generosity and the support of this community that this is all possible. So I would like to thank everyone in the community who has supported the Aurora Area Interfaith Food Pantry.